20,000 fans in a chorus at the American Airlines Arena. We've got the San Antonio Spurs and the Miami Heat. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Going to bring you the NBA right here on 2K Sports. Looking at the starting five for the San Antonio Spurs. Brought to you by State Farm. Leonard and Duncan are the forwards. Parker and Mono Ginobili, their backcourt. And it's Blair in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Miami, at the two and three, the superstar duo of D. Wade and LeBron James. Haslam and Bosch are up front. And it's Chalmers in at the one spot. They always like to get that first lead of the game. Yeah, you know, Steve, a good way to set the tone early on there. Boy, the Spurs were a force last year. And in part, it was because of their play on the road. Veteran teams just seem to know how important road games are. And they were able to get the job done away from home. And the call will be against Tony Parker. That's his first foul. First team foul. Bosch with it. Guarded now by Duncan. Chalmers with it. Six to shoot. Chalmers off the pick from LeBron. Loses the defender with the screen and drills the jumper. And the older a team is like the Spurs, Steve, the easier it seems to be for them to get wins away from home just uh, because they aren't rattled, it seems like, part by a, you know, a big crowd away from home. Well, and the Spurs closed out the season on a tear with their road play, Kevin. They ended with the best road record in the West and the second best in the entire league at 22-11. and 11. Here's Wade following the basket by Tim Duncan. Wade drives in, loses the drop step, and the shot is good. Wade's got his first bucket in this one. Well, for him, that finger roll is almost second nature. That's a tough shot for most players. Duncan with a screen on Chalmers. Parker dishes to Duncan. And it's good on the assist by Parker. That's going to be important for this team to fight over the top of screens defensively. Yeah, you got to tag him and stay right close to him because with his touch, he doesn't need much space to get a shot off. Here's Wade. Shot is off. So the Spurs will take it the other way. Well, when you watch Dwayne Wade play, he's a tremendous scorer. The one weakness in his game is the three-point shot. But I think last year he did a really wise thing. He cut way back on his attempts and took his game more inside where he's such a dominant player. Duncan with the bucket. You know, down there in the low post is where you really want to create a lot of your offense. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. And Chalmers kicks to Bosch. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. And Steve, you mentioned Wade, never a three-point march under 30% for his career. His team really built around Clark, I think, the mid-range jumper on in. Yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I mean, that's the strength of who he is now. The three-point shot could add to what he does, but he's doing it at about 25 a game without a real lethal three-point shot. So maybe that's just kind of the chink in his armor, but it still doesn't keep him from being one of the best ever. Shane Battier has checked in for Miami. Back to Chalmers, tries for the alley-oop, and Wade slams it in. And Kevin, he's really solidified his role as the closer on this team. You know, Miami struggled to figure out whether they'd go to LeBron or Bosch or Wade at first. I think Wade has become the guy. Well, I tell you what, it's nice to have two guys that are capable of closing, Steve. And I agree with you, though. His aggressiveness and confidence probably give him a slight edge in closing over LeBron. You can play great defense on him, but he still typically finds a way to get the shot he wants. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. LeBron is doubled. Chalmers working against Parker, and the call will be against Tony Parker. That'll be his second foul of the game. Guys, he's going to have to be careful here. You don't want to pick up your third foul in the first quarter. LeBron with it. Guarded now by Duncan. It's LeBron with the drive. Rebound, San Antonio. Here's Leonard. Get it off in top. He trained the shot right at the buzzer. Cold-blooded. I mean, that's a big-time clutch bucket. That is a prime-time play, guys. He got himself squared up and knocked down the shot. No problem. 
And so the first quarter is in the books. Spurs lead by five. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And looking at what we've seen from the Spurs so far, guys, what do you think? Solid first quarter for this club. They came out strong and they've put together some nice momentum here. Steve, I like the looks they've gotten on offense. A lot of good ones. Well, there's probably two areas of concern if you're a Miami fan. One is the depth of the front court, and the other is the point guard situation. Although last year, I thought Mario Chalmers had an excellent season, and Norris Cole was a, a surprise, the rookie out of Cleveland State. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. Ray Allen and LeBron fill out the wings. Chris Bosh is out there with Shane Battier, and it's Cole in at the point guard position. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Yes, Kevin. The Dwayne Wade LeBron James tandem in Miami, already one of the best in NBA history, and they push each other to get better every day. As Dwayne Wade said, we compete after practice. Obviously, it's not about keeping score, but after a lot of practices, we'll do a lot of one on one work because we understand that competition between us will make both of us better. Kevin, scary for their competitors. I believe it. Those must make for some good battles, Doris. Thanks. Well, back to Miami. If they can see their young players, and Steve was just mentioning this, grow into that point guard role as they did last year, then really, Clark, you know, front court depth will be their only concern going from this point on. And that's a pretty short list of concerns to have if you're a team. I mean, the Heat will always have to worry about depth to some degree given how they're built around the big three, but... It looks like they won't have too many point guard issues going forward. And so here is Miami. Juan Blair unable to get his shot to go. Again, the miss by the Heat. He's not necessarily a strong inside presence, but he needs to polish those chances off. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Parker drives in. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Well, you look at Chris Bosh, and last year he put together another solid season with Miami, averaged about 18 points and eight boards. Not the numbers that he had when he was in Toronto, but of course he didn't have all that talent around him. He's fit in quite well with Wade and LeBron. Parker's shot is off. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. Allen, and blocked. And a fast break now for the Spurs. Backing him down is Duncan. He feeds it to Parker. Mattier with the steal. Duncan against LeBron. Mattier outside. Vicious to Bosch. Bosch double teamed. Six on the shot clock. And Cole kicks to LeBron. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. LeBron's now got four points this quarter. And for Bosch Clark, you know, the dip in his numbers that he said himself he's wanted to correct is to get his rebounding numbers back up in double digits. Yeah, but you have to look at this Miami team as one of the best in the league, and the forwards do an unusual amount of rebounding. I mean, LeBron and D-Wade as a two-guard and three, they get a ton of rebounds, so Bosch doesn't necessarily have to do a bunch of glass eating. And some changes here for the Heat. Chris Anderson has checked in for Batty. Wade comes in for Ray Allen. And it's Chalmers in for Norris Cole. Here's Anderson. The Heat need to get a shot off. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist by Anderson. Now it's just a three-point Spurs lead. Opportunity to go two for one here if they want it. Steve, let's see if they go for it. Here's Parker. Connects on the nine-footer. And the Spurs lead by five. Pete have gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Passes to Chalmers. Up with it. Wade. Oh! Unbelievable. Oh, we do that. <laughs> Always some entertainment value when you go with the windmill jam. Yeah, rim shaker and Steve a wrist breaker. <laughs> Outrageous. Man. Backing him down is Duncan. Ginobili. And he finishes nicely on the layup. 
Ginobili's got his second bucket of the game to go. He's a guy that'll take it right into the teeth of the defense. A lot of his points come from inside of five feet.